explosion. We bout to blow explosive. We bout to blow explosive. We making bad decisions. Empty bottles on the floor. Yeah, and I'm obsessed with winning. What's up, kiddos? Ooh, child. Things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child. Things are gonna get... Ah. I don't know the lyrics. I usually end it somewhere around there, and I do not know the lyrics. Anyway, it's quarter to December, and you are tuned into the weekly rap with your boy, Moochie for the Babies. Before we go any further, guys, I'm gonna need you to do that thing where you click the subscribe button below here. Some of you are listening to me right now saying click the subscriber button below here and you're just sitting there with your hands like this. Don't do that. <laughs> click something. Click subscribe, join the family, put your notifications on every time I drop a video, you're going to know that Moochie matters to you. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Shout out to all the love you guys gave me on the first episode we put out last week and let me start off by saying Howdy for the sound. Howdy. Howdy, famo. I know it came in on the left field there. Unexpected audio hiccup. But some of you guys completely ignored it and just took the content in regardless. And the Lebuchela, Banabaka, Bahamuti, Mohaye, Kiri, thank it to you. But for now, let's get straight into the episode. This is episode two. Muchi Matters. Actually, of the weekly rap. On Moochie Matters. Please, I need everybody to get that right, including myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Talking about your boy something, so wait to. You know that guy has such a sultry voice. That's I'm trying to mimic something, so wait to, guys. I have to get it right. Okay. You know what, guys? I've seen something so way to perform live. The dude is dope, you know? <laughs> the dude is dope. We all know his talent, his jam. Shout out for his album as well, man. That thing is bangs. And of course, we are December ready with all the work he's been doing in with Boma Parisa and all those guys. Dope stuff. But yay! Idols! Hanna fell on about a live performance for the nation. Ah, there were too many moving pieces for your boy. Everyone who saw the video knows that something's already done. Fucked up. I was trying to mimic his voice because I want you guys to know what he actually ended up sounding like. So he went from. And that thing I came out saying, So far, see ya. So far, yeah, I'm on Tom Bazaar. No ways, dog. <laughs> Something, what happened, dog? We need you here. So fast, you know, so fast. Come on, ask me, yeah, I'm on Tom Bazaar. Spoilers, keep your eyes. Ah, school idols, man, Jay. Ah, I see, I see, I keep up, my father, I see, I keep up. Everyone is like, no one. But I just want to say, guys, you know, he's actually such a sweet dude. And I've seen him perform live, you know. In our studio, actually, uh, when we used to host uh, the, the Daily Breakfast Show. And he did an amazing job <laughs> at performing live. But it was so hilarious to see him go left field. You know? Shout out to you, man. <laughs> shout out to you, my boy. Another shout out to our very, very, very special, the keeper of the nation. I actually like that. The keeper of the nation. Oh, Bracoons. Bracune, to my lane. Uh, Lechtenbeck's finest. <laughs> As you know, Kune's love life. We've been so involved in the South Africans, guys. You know, from me, me. Then you gotta see the love of your life. Get walking down the aisle by some other guy. Kutlungu <laughs> Pagate. <laughs> Ay, the message they've never given me this mic. I'm a while out. <laughs> Kune, of course, uh, we've seen him go through one breakup, and then he went through another breakup, and then got back together with that girl, who was badly. And then, after, of course, a very tragic accident, let's just be real here, very, very tragic, we thank the Lord God for saving Butler's life, who is now in recovery still, and we continue to send a love light and all our prayers. Please don't get that part wrong. Um, 
sharp. So she's recovering, man. <laughs> but uh, show sure, want to cover. I want to go home and you know. Happy to be here, you know. Thanks God. She doesn't remember the cones, bro. <laughs> it's just another heartbreak. I think that's the most heartbreaking type of heartbreak you can suffer, man. This is the, who are you again? Oh, page man, come on. It too, huh? Ah, uh, my baby, baby, sweetie, sir. Uh, my, uh, sky the ball. Sky the ball. I want to know, no. And she's like, sorry, bro. You're being like totes weird. And I don't really know who like you like totally are. But now my man's paid Lobola. Ah, but Tumba Mudimu. Swang, swang, swang. Libone. Wana, twana, lele, kala. Well done, it's Melancunia on your recent engagement. I, for one, am pledging not to drag it Melancoons on the internet anymore. That is the end of that. And I wish the uh, the goalkeeper of the nation all the luck in the world. Just please remember him. Whatever happens. Whatever happens. If, you know, we, can, we don't know what tomorrow holds. But if, once again, it doesn't work out for the Coons, all I ask is that just, won't you remember the reason you love me? things of that nature remember the coons come on he deserves to be remembered as december approaches uh everyone is looking forward to what song is going to take us into the new year i think we've all collectively agreed that labantwana mauba labantwana barongo is taking us into 2020 how you like how you like that how you like that? Happy now, I'm not doing and I talk shit about my piano, but I take it all back, guys. I'm ready to groove with you. I got the old level motherfucker, damn shit. Hey, who the bitch and the pussy and the motherfucker with the horn, yeah? Let me hear you motherfucker say scream. None of that shit. Rehi, you guys know the dance, man. Yeah? Ah, man. Here we go. Is it the one, guys? <laughs> it's the one. But of course, somebody in parliament does not agree with us. Please check what this dude says. Please listen to your uncle. Our children do not dance to songs such as Abantuana Barongo, Abantuana Uber, by Fakima Kaleli, by Tata, by Yusa. These are some of the songs that are distracting our children in schools. These are some of the songs that must be banned because they are not relevant for the development. I look he agree with him. I mean, he say that, yo, our kids can't be listening to this song by Tata Makeleni, by Faga, by Tata Makeleni, by Faga, Lebantona Barongo, Lebantona by Uber. is not right. Uh, but you guys were singing, I'm in love with the Coco. Nobody said a goddamn thing. Don't you remember? Lebantona by Uber's got a fly too. Just dance. But uh, I feel sorry to everybody who was in rehab like a week before that song came out. Can you imagine? You've been just out there cocaining it, having a good time. Fuck a McElhaney, fuck a McElhaney, fuck a McElhaney. Can't there's an anthem dropping a week after you're in rehab? I'm sure all those niggas left rehab cover a show. They said not today. They said Rawaga January. <laughs> Rawaga January. Yeah, but by January, guys, please. Everyone. Everyone. Woo. Everybody. By January, we're all back. Uh, not, whoa! What, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those who left rehab gotta go back to rehab. Guys, when you go to Groove, ne, don't be a tough guy. Don't be a tough guy when you go to Groove. Go with your friends, with your girls, whatever. Whatever's gonna happen, go on, they're gonna have a good time. You know, drink your drinks, dance your dance, have a good time. Do not go to Groove to be a tough guy. But yo, you stepped on my foot, dog. But yo, that's my girl, dog. Just... If there's an option to walk away, just take it. Guys, people are carrying weapons, eh? People are going to groove and they're packing. So they say, bring the ice cubes, bring the brandy, uh, bring the cups. Also, grab the gat. Because if one motherfucker say one motherfucking thing that I don't motherfucking like, I'm gonna let the motherfucking thing sing. Let that do to you. What the fuck you think this is? Grab this boy out here. You even hear the gunshot. I'm to pull out a papa.
Guys, go to the party, have a good time. So, Helang Masende. Everybody just came out. Every such thing in December. Ah, guys, dying in December is an inconvenience. Ah, ah, nah, hey. Nah, ma'am. Nah, December. Nah, ma'am. December. You want to die in December. So, you must just. When? When are you going to. Come on, man. Homo Nate. Now we must. Hey, Sipo was a nice guy, but Lamantuana Ma. No, 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 I can't. Sipo was such a nice guy, but Lamantuana Ma. I can't. I can't do it. I have to mourn. You know, I remember Zippo that time when he did that thing. No, 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 no. Ah, I love it, Dada. Eh, I love it, Dada. Ish, but I'm sad. But eh, I'm not going to tell anybody. Eh, I'm not going to tell anybody. I miss him so much. <laughs> Take care of yourselves when you go out there, group. Shit is real. Nigga, this is not a motherfucking game. Um, and of course, guys, we got to give it up to this champion of South Africa. You know, sometimes people go out there to bring us the news. And this happened in my home time. Hey, in my hometown, Yamafi King. Big ass right? people were looting. Shit, I remember the looting that happened in Mafi King back in 1993. I said I remember. Like, memory. <laughs> in case you're wondering how old I am, it's in my memory. <laughs> <laughs> so it happened again and people out there looting as you know uh as you do i guess in these situations but tough this reporter my boy in terms of bringing the people the news above and beyond the call of duty i shem i shem cover the situation come come tell us how do you feel about what Come on! <laughs> Have you ever seen a reporter in the middle of Msunanganyogo running to a nigga, holding him? That nigga was running away, and that nigga also likes attention. She said, Hey, sir, please, 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 come on, what are what, what, what are you running from? And my homeboy stood also started explaining. Ah, I got childless sister. <laughs> no way. You've got to love it. I love the commitment, the commitment from both the reporter and even one of the protesters who decided they have to get the truth. And I guess I was chosen. That's why every time I watch the news, I always look for the time when the reporters are on the ground and they find the community leader. It's my favorite guy in the community. I don't know where that nigga comes from. He doesn't seem to know much. But you always come to and they always put it there, there. right there. See, poor community leader. Eh, Runa, eh, Maki, I get it, Maki, I get on one. Eh, this guy with the overall, Maki, this guy, I better overall. He just came and started halabalu everywhere. I say halabalu, but otherwise, we just hope for the police will never solve this case because usually, but I feel about that statement to be but am I. Beside that reporter, man, <laughs> she, I, don't, I actually don't know if it's she or he, they were very brave for bringing us the Kang Sabato. To end off this episode, I'm going to end it off on a note of, I'm going to give you guys a little information. There are two brothers currently right now, South African brothers, called the Monty brothers from Cape Town. One brother goes to a tennis academy in Cape Town, the other one to one in L.A., the guy who's in Cape, these guys are shaking the game of tennis up and none of us are giving them the respect and recognition that they deserve. The Monty brothers are killing the game. Right. The one brother is now top 20 in the world under 16. Top 20 in the world. ATP rankings. Guys. So I'm going to put up all this information out here. You guys need to go check these boys out. Follow them on social media. Show them love. South Africa. Let's keep that energy going. We're getting stronger together. Stronger together. But yeah, man. We've got like our own vision of the Williams sisters. But now they're brothers. And they're just messing up the game. And the one brother, uh, he's going to be part of the, 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 the tournament called the ATP. Um, the ATP World Tournament or whatever it is. He's in the South African team with Kevin Anderson. You know, like the best tennis uh, player we've ever produced in this country. You know what I'm saying? He's in the team with him, that young kid, representing South Africa, uh, along with uh, three other guys. There's a team of five. So please, man, 
I'm putting all the information out here. It's popping up. It's doing some stuff. Hobi Zinyana. The links are probably right here in my bio. But please go out there. Show them love. Show them support. Let's get behind our boys, man. And yeah, I mean, hey, I'm a tosser. I'm a jabulil. Hey, I'm a tosser. 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 <laughs> hey yo thank you man it's been the weekly wrap with your boy moochie for the babies again don't forget to subscribe like comment subscribe uh drop uh something nice there say hey sipo page man say whatever i'm gonna say some shit back follow me at sipo says it's right here on twitter sipo snaps on the grammage and we'll be back next week with another weekly wrap i just dropped another video uh Telling you guys a little bit more about myself. Opening up, you know what I eat for my breakfast, what color my toothbrush is. Get to know me a little better. Also answering some assumptions about me. So go check that video out if it's out now. If I'm saying this and it's not out, it means it's literally about to drop. So watch out for it. Either one of those things is about to happen. But I did do that video that I promised you guys I was going to do. And if today is Friday and you're watching it and it hasn't dropped yet, that means I'm dropping it on Monday for you. So you're hearing this right now. Otherwise, shout out, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to everybody showing me love. Again, keep sharing. Keep caring. Smoochie for the kids. I'm out. See you next week. Mwah.